And thank you for everyone for really being open and for sharing all of your experiences and your ideas. And you're I think there's a bit of a negative stigma to anyone who waits. <laughs> My name is Amna Faruqi. I'm president of the Jewish Muslim Alliance, which um, is an interfaith organization on campus. Sex is about expanding yourself and your your partner or partners, I guess. I don't want to be too conservative here. The reason we had this event was because specifically in the Jewish community, in the Muslim community, you have such um, a variety of opinions on this because you have kids who are, you know, very liberal and they're having sex and they're very secular and they live in America. But then you also have the very orthodox communities on both sides who don't even touch before marriage. And that's not something that's talked about a lot. You see in public schools, I went to public school. I know in health class, they're taught abstinence, but they're also taught like how to put a condom on a banana. And for some reason it's been seized by certain politicians that like this isn't something we should be teaching. Valentine's Day is always a good time to talk about sex. Um, it was a little cliche. The school has a large Jewish community, it has a large Muslim community, but um, we thought we'd get a good audience for it because of that. The sexual sexuality talk in, in Judaism focuses around the idea of uh, abstinence, um, not touching before you're married and not having sex before you're married. It's kind of assumed that everyone does it and everyone's going to do it and I think the hardest part is having to explain to people why you don't because you can be really steadfast in your own beliefs but um, you're going to be seen as one way by a lot of people. People should do what they're comfortable with and that happens to line up with what their religion says if you identify strongly with your religion.